that right there is my piano and in just a second I'm going to play the song under the sea on it except I'm actually going to play it under the sea oh my god oh it's falling down oh dear one small step for man one giant leap for penis <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my piano to the bottom of the ocean. I can now officially say I am the first person to have ever played my piano underwater. Uh, except that's not entirely true. This is fellow YouTuber Zealous, and last year he made a video where he played piano underwater, and to be honest, it was an excellent video. Apart from the bit where he actually played the piano. Yeah, there's something telling me that that might not actually be the real piano noise. That thing looks like it's been down there for about 50 years. I, I don't think that that piano actually works. I became aware of Zelda's video back in January, right after I'd been on national television and promised the nation that I would play piano under the sea. I will be taking it underwater at some point this year. How does a piano survive when it's in the drink? I'm not entirely convinced it will. And a few keen eyed Zelda's viewers will quickly point out that it had already been done. Before. But what they didn't know is that I'd actually been planning this video for more than a year before that, right after I had received a comment which said, play under the sea, under the sea, dot, 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 bet you can't. And you know what, it's just that last part which annoyed me, the bit which is, I bet you can't. Something in me just took that as a challenge, and ever since then, I've been trying to prove to Epic Gamer 3000 that I can play under the sea, under the sea. Watch the lip, bit you have to play. Okay, that's the one. The first thing I did is take my piano to a river, just to test it out in just a few inches of water. You might have seen this video a couple of years ago. That video would never have existed if I wasn't trying to make this video. That was just a science experiment and I got the data I needed. The f*** was that? That was the strings getting too cold, I bet. I think it's fine. I think it might have been a piece of wood. Okay, cool. We continue. So with the new knowledge that wood and water don't mix, I spoke to this artist who put his piano in a few feet of water a while back. What did it sound like? More importantly than the actual sound that it made was actually the feeling. Like for me, I'm quite a lot about emotions. I remember that being quite a profound feeling, actually. After listening to him talk about his emotions for another few minutes, I did actually manage to get some quite useful information out of it. Okay, so it ended up really, really cool. Um, basically, what happened was that all of the keys expand a little bit, um, and they ended up in this sort of giant wave that went along the keyboard and literally as soon as you brought it out of the sea it just um, set completely rock solid you couldn't play any of them at all but it did look really really cool and it made a really nice piece of art in itself i'm starting to think i could be an artist so long story short because the piano keys are made of wood when they get underwater they'll expand into one another and stop working so my genius solution is just to literally remove the piano keys or at least some of them that way i can make a big enough gap between each key so that when they do expand they won't expand into another key Unfortunately, the math doesn't work out quite perfectly, and some of the keys I've just removed are keys which I need. But then I realised I can go against social construct and tune the piano to an entirely custom tuning, which will only include notes that I actually need to be able to play the song under the sea. And that was inevitable. I knew that would happen. So this is what under the sea sounds like on my custom tuned epic piano. And just to show you exactly how much I've retuned that piano, here are those exact same notes played on a normally tuned piano. So all was good to go. And then two years passed. A lot has happened in the last two years. The project got delayed a couple of times because we missed the season, then I got COVID. Zelas released his video where he pretended to play piano underwater, which just reaffirmed how much I wanted to make my one actually work. I went on BBC News and up the stakes by promising this video to the world. A YouTuber called Matthias Krantz waterproofed his piano and found the same thing which Richard did all those years ago, which was very comforting to me. Every single key is just completely stuck. But then I got in touch with Matthias and that's when he said this. The general idea of removing every other key I think is good, but I think the biggest issue is definitely the action. Like the space in all of the parts is just so small. If it expands just a little bit, you're going to have a problem. At this point, it's less than a month until the shoot. The date is set in stone. I paid 11 grand. The shoot is going ahead. But Matthias has just said that the piano will probably not actually work. But at this point, I'm in too deep. There's no turning back. 
I have to make this work. I clung on to every last little bit of hope and used a model piano mechanism to test Matias' theory. The mechanisms it uses have a precision of less than a millimetre in some cases, so if it expands just a tiny bit, then it might not work, and that's what I'm worried about. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and 40 seconds so far. So far, it's still working. But after a few more minutes, I got the bad news I was expecting. I mean, now, I'll safely say, the piano does not work on the wall. So I maybe have a five minute grace period to dive down there, but I don't think I have five minutes to dive down there. So with less than a month until the shoot, I had to scramble to either modify my piano to work underwater or find one which already did. After some deep research, I found a brand of pianos called Lindner's, which are some of the rarest pianos in the UK, but not because they're so sought after, but because people keep throwing them away. The only article I could actually find on them was about how bad they were. They do have one thing going for them though, which is that instead of using wooden mechanisms like most pianos, they use plastic mechanisms. And I think that that will be the key to solving my problem. Plastic doesn't expand. But I have less than a month to get my hands on one, and there aren't any listed in the entire of England. So I started looking into whether I could get one shipped from Scotland or even Northern Ireland, which would cost thousands. But luckily at the last minute, one popped up on eBay, which was just an hour away from me. All right, we are now on our way to Tewkesbury to pick up a Linda piano. This poor lady has emailed me saying how she's so happy that it's going to a good home and that someone's going to get good use out of it. Little does she know that I'm going to put it in the sea. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Helen. I'm very sorry. So I can't wait to see where this ends up yes. on its travel. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a lovely little piano, isn't it? We're taking our piano on an adventure. <laughs> Very fit into the piano. Yeah, it's a video. Yeah. You know, didn't you? I remember you rolling. Are you sad? You're going to say no, no, no. I want to keep it. Oh no, I feel bad now. I feel bad. I can't take it away from you. We'll see where it ends up. Possibilities are endless. They are endless. Bye bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. The kid was gonna cry. The kid was gonna cry. So they helped paint it. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna dunk it in the sea. Potentially you're going to hell, Joe. <laughs> I think I might be going to hell. But before I fully solidify these kids' trust issues, I decided to take a visit to everyone's favourite mermaid. Generic mermaid. Um, well, I have to go now because I'm actually busy learning how to play the piano using Floki. Call me on my shell phone later. Bye bye now. Today, Generic Mermaid is gonna learn a new song on piano using Floki, but she has never played the piano before. We don't have such things under the sea. She's also a beginner out of character, and to show you the power of Floki, I just left her to it. While a generic mermaid is learning by herself over there, I want to tell you about Floki's best feature, which is called the weight mode. Essentially, if you press this little button down here, then Floki will use your microphone to listen to what you're playing. And if you press the right note, then it'll move on in the song. But if you press the wrong note, then that's okay, because it'll just wait for you to get the right one. Floki has a library of thousands of songs that you can choose to learn. Oh, well, they can go to the link in the description and they can try Floki for free. Thank you very much to Floki for sponsoring and let's play Under the Sea, Under the Sea. What are you doing? With the radio, we can give you a shout out. What are you going to be playing? Under the Sea. <laughs> under the Sea. Yeah, <laughs> Under the Sea, Under the Sea, I have to. After that, I went into some dive training, which included the very new skill of having to sit down underwater. I promise that is actually harder than you think it is. I took along a throwaway piano just so the team could test the weight. Oh, the piece is falling off. No, no. <laughs> It's at the mercy of all the swell at the moment. The piano was way too buoyant and the shoot was tomorrow, so we had to come up with a solution fast. That solution ended up just being two pieces of wood. We'll put basically like some skis underneath it to stop it from tipping yeah. backwards and forwards and some extra weight in it, probably about 50 kilos. When I sat behind it, I can hold it there. A bit of weight and that, it'll be fine. But then our diver said this. Did he try any keys? Yeah, nothing. I had one last solution I was clinging on to. On the yellow piano, I put pins in all the hammers so that instead of felt hitting the strings, it would be metal hitting the strings. But with the shoot being the next day, all I could do was hope that everything I'd done had worked and get some good sleep. 
Our tidal window today is between 10 and 12, so we have to. We do have to go we right to, now. We have yeah. to go for it. We don't have a choice. You can honestly say I've <laughs> never filmed a piano <laughs> being played before. I clearly don't know how, how that's going to work, whether we're going to hear anything. The piano is going in the sea now for the first time ever. I just want to say a massive apology to the family who we brought this from. I'm really sorry to the kids who painted it. We are about to destroy your piano. Oh, it's falling down. To celebrate the end of this two-year long project, I'm releasing some limited edition merch designed by the amazing Angita and Tama. We've got this incredible t-shirt design of me playing piano underwater, and you can also get the same design on a poster. But if you want something more low-key but still want to support the channel, you can also buy these much more low-key hoodies with just a squid on. All of that will be available for 30 days only, then after that it's gone forever. So if you want it, get it now. If you want to support me in making more stupid videos like this one, this is the best way to do so. Good to go. So it was a success. After two years of trying, I finally managed to play Under the Sea, Under the Sea. So I went back on the BBC to spread the good news. Wearing some limited edition merch, of course. I'm just really glad to say that I finally, finally managed to actually play Under the Sea, Under the Sea. What you've just achieved is that Under the Sea or In the Sea? I mean, I like to think I was playing it Under the Sea. I mean, that's what I've been working towards for the last two years. But Under the Sea, you might think, would be in a tunnel of some sort. The worst part is that he's right. If you think about it, I still haven't actually completed the challenge that Epic Gamer 3000 set me. I've played under the sea in the sea. I played it under some water, but not literally under the sea. And I realize now that to do what he's actually asking me, I'll have to go literally underneath the ocean. Keep your eyes peeled for part two. This is the first time I've ever just crossed the border just to make a video. The only problem is that all of this is illegal. This might be the last time I get to live as a man without a criminal record. Thank you.